Hey everyone! Good morning! It's Rita from It's Rita to the Rescue for Friday's uh, Cricket Chat. We're wrapping up a week of happy cricketing and um, it's Father's Day on Sunday so I wanted to show you a couple of fun timely uh, cards happy friday yay um this one actually we're gonna talk about because it's falling apart and i want to show you what i did to resolve that but it's a cheeseburger box card this is from svg cuts and i will give you the links to both places um after i finish up this video so it'll be in the instruct not the instructions, the description of the video, whether you're seeing this on YouTube or on Facebook. So you can use those links. I am an affiliate with these, both of these. This is from SVG Cuts. And um, if you wanted to find it, let's see, I wanna show you. On SVG Cuts, they sell it separately and they also sell it in a bundle. And it's under Father's Day, so here it is. Now it does have inserts to it, which they have them for dad. And I um, I started thinking this would be perfect for uh, 4th of July too. So um, I'm having a great morning. Hi Peggy, Emmy. Actually, we were up with the birds this morning, five o'clock. Um, yesterday I had my fourth and final chemo. Um, and we, let's see, I talked with the nurse. They gave me all kinds of preventatives to keep me from having a reaction, which they said last time it was cumulative, which is why I didn't have a reaction the first two times. So they gave me all kinds of meds to keep me from having problems, um, this time. And I was up with the birds, my son and I, he, he, he picked all the weeds out of the garden to feed to the guinea pigs and um, the dogs have been walked and I've been talking on the phone and doing all kinds of stuff. So I've got great energy. I hope you do too. We're wrapping up a great week. We did a lot of fun things like we did these holographic um, cosmetic cases. Uh, we did a striped bowl um, and with a, a cracker, um, like a like a cracker thing. And, and um, we had a jam-packed week. I still haven't gotten to the Pride t-shirts, but I haven't forgotten. I think I'm going to do that either on Sunday or Monday. But speaking of extra days, this Saturday, we are having Cricket Date Night for the first time in a couple of weeks. We're going to be doing Cricket Date Night, and we are going to be making... Let's see if I get the instructions. Hold on. We're going to put together from, this is from that recent Dreaming Tree thing. Um, so we put together this bowl and we did this, this was a free one of the Patriotic Cracker. So we're going to be putting together this gazebo and I'm going to do it in two different uh, ways. I'm going to do it in a, this patriotic way because I don't have the flags, but I could find the stripes and then I thought I would dress it up in the way I'm used to seeing gazebos, which are green up here in New England. We, we paint ours, the edges green and um, white. So I think I'm gonna change this up a little bit for a second time for a different look. Um, and let's see, what's the other thing? Oh, and there are these adorable pie boxes that I'm gonna throw in too, because then you'll have used, if you did buy this whole bundle or get this whole bundle, you'll see how these go together. Really cute. I cut them out, but I haven't fully assembled them. So we're just going, you know, like we are cooking with gas over here and have so many things. I was able to find some faux leather and I talked to one uh, person offline um, who does faux leather earrings with iron on on them. They're gorgeous. So I want to show you those. I'm hoping to do that next week and um, I'm still waiting for my printable HTV and if it comes, we'll, we'll play with that. I don't know what the results will be, but we'll play with that. The pride shirts. 
Um, and oh, a whole other, oh yeah, we got those new blanks, the new infusible ink blanks. So we're going to work on those as well. Good morning, Teresa. So we are busy. We're cooking with gas here. Peggy, hello. Constance. Also wanted to let you know for the giveaways. Um, so, you know, we're almost half or more than halfway through the, um, the month. So I have to kind of wrap it up and I checked all of my entries and I have six so far for the month. And this month I'm giving away 11, um, 11. So let me see what I got here. So I got six, um, the, the six winners that I've got so far are David Burroughs from Texas, Dorothy Martin from Canada, Tignish. Prince Edward Island, yay. Um, Peggy, Peggy, I just saw you. Uh, Peggy, and from Brockton, a fellow Massachusettsite. I won't use the, the derogatory term that they use. <laughs> um, April Lesnit, and she's from Indiana. And let's see, we've got Wanda Graham from Pace, Florida, and Roxanne Wetmore from, also from New England, Torrington, Connecticut. So I've got six winners and I need five more. So I decided that we would do them on Saturday night when we do Cricket Date Night to get people to um, to come and see Date Night and see what we're doing. And uh, I'll tease you and, and do them at the end so that we can get more people to watch. How's that? And um, so it will be live here on Facebook, and then it will be replayed um, on YouTube, and then also go in the groups. Cricket date night is always longer. It's like usually about an hour long because you're putting together a bigger project. Um, yeah, Constance, I called your name. I, didn't I? I called your name. You won. Oh, what we're giving away this month is uh, three gorgeous sampler rolls of iron-on. So what you end up with is nine, I believe it's nine sheets, all different of iron-on. So you can try different techniques, you know, different things with the iron-on and you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to waste it. So um, you're going to get three on a roll and three rolls. So those are good. And remember that they are still running, they're catching up, but they're still running behind. So if you are a winner, it does take a little while to receive your winnings, um, but you do eventually get them. Um, I have only one person that I'm still working out about she didn't get hers and I'm not sure why. So, um, so I think it was Shelby. Um, so I'm still working on that anyway. So let's get down. Hello, everybody. Um, Tara, hello. Welcome. Welcome. So again, this morning, we're going to be working with a couple of designers. These are two, um, of my favorite designers. One is called, um, Dreaming Tree, and you can find them at 3D SVG. Um, they call themselves Dreaming Tree. They're out of Illinois, and they have all kinds of, I wanted to point out, they have all kinds of free files, tons and tons of free files that you can kind of cut your teeth on. So you just go to the free file section, and there are I think like 11 or more pages. So it looks like there's like 12 on each page so there's you know 120 free files i don't know anybody else that gives that many free files out um they're very very generous the um the only drawback with their files is that when you upload them to i'm going to show you when you upload them to design space it takes a few extra um and extra steps, okay? And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Um, but it's well worth it for the fact that they give you a lot of free, um, a lot of free files and also they, what was the other thing that I was thinking of? Oh, when you download something from here, which often I do order, when I go to the orders, um, I wanted to point out, so 
I've been ordering from them since 2016 or something. And um, even with the free files that you order, they keep it here. And when you order, what I really, really like is that your downloads never expire and they're infinite. Obviously, don't give, the, give out the link, you know, because that's not useful for the designer they need to make some money but if you forget or you have different um you know platforms that you're using like your ipad and yes you can download files um to ipads you will have to unzip them but to desktop or like a laptop you can come back and download and what i often do is i forgot that i download them and i really appreciate that it doesn't expire not every designer does that so that's really Really important um, and when you go you have to just find where you bought and in this case this particular um, thing here uh, is a thing it's a card for happy father's day with it's a cheeseburger card and um, I forgot that it was part of a bundle it's called grilling and chilling so you can buy this individually and I think it's two dollars and 49 cents Plus, they are offering a 25% off. I'm going to just make sure they're still doing that. Yep, 25% off when you use on anything, no minimum purchase. So you use the code tw SUMMER2020. So you can go to, say, uh, Father's Day, or if you want to get this, the bundle. They still offer the bundle, although it's not free with a purchase anymore. But if you go to, say, um, shop the main shop and look for Father's Day cards. Let me show you where you find them. So Father's Day and he sells, uh, they sell this separately for $249 plus the 20% off, 25% um, off. And they also sell it in a bundle called Grillin' and Chillin'. And I think it has like a beer. Let me just find it for you so you can see. Yeah, so it has also a beer mug, like a Stein, and a 3D, uh, here we go, it has this 3D, it's a box that looks like a grill, so it's called Grillin' and Chillin', so if you wanted to buy them. These are big files, and they do require a lot of patience, so, um, so do consider that, and if you've never done one of their files, before, make sure you grab one of the free files. They're a lot easier to deal with to start off with, and then you can sort of work your way up. His, uh, the designs are super intricate and um, beautiful, beautiful files, but very intricate. And uh, you might not want to attempt some of those at the beginning, okay? So the second one that we're gonna do is um, this burger box card, as I mentioned, this is from SVG Cuts, which can be found at svgcuts.com. And you can make this, I, when I was making this, I thought, you know, this would work as 4th of July and this could work for Dad's Day. And so I started putting it together. And one of the things that I noticed is I use kind of a thinner card stock on this one. And what when it's attached, you see it's attached here and the hinges were not very, um, they're just small. So I started to tape them and I thought, you know what, no, I'm just gonna cut, cut it out in a thicker paper and actually cut it out in the basil one. So when we put it together, you can see that. So downloading these files, once you download the files, you're gonna go to your Cricut Design Space. Let me just get on a, on a blank canvas, so open up blank canvas by hitting new if you have something on there and saving your original project. And then you go over here to upload, okay? And we've, we've talked about this before, all of your images that you've uploaded sort of stay here, you can leave them there, but, um, and I do that for a lot of my images. I have over a thousand in there of things that I'm working on. You can see I've got some Corgi images here. And so let's show you the upload for the burger because that's slightly different than SVG Cuts. SVG Cuts offers a 
one and done sort of upload, as does Laurie Whitlock. So we're going to go to um, this browse feature. We choose that. And then in the downloads, which is, uh, you know, you'll have a separate file thing for downloads. Um, and I'm using Macintosh. Uh, I don't know where it's stored on a Windows device, but um, I'm sure that they must have like a download or a recent. You may need to, with Windows, you may need to unzip the file because they come down as zip files, so they, they need to be unzipped before you can upload them to Design Space, okay? We covered that before. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So in this particular case, I got a grilling and chilling SVG bundle. So when I open this up, I have those, these are the three things. There's the barbecue gift treat box, there's the cheeseburger and the Father's Day card. So we're doing the cheeseburger. So we're gonna use that, um, that little down arrow. And what you'll see with the down arrow is you get a JPEG. That's just a picture for you to use as a guide and it's helpful, but I don't ever print that off. And then you also get this PDF, which is also just instructions on what you need and how to cut it that kind of thing um, I print those off but we're doing uploads here so you don't want to upload the PDF or the JPEG you want to go to this this um, envelope which is SVG and you'll see down below in addition to where the envelope is and some extras, these are all the different images for SVG so you're gonna click on each one and in this particular case is like six or seven. So you're gonna click on each one and save them. So here I go and click on each one and open and save. And do that for all of them. Butter sunflower, he names them by the color of the paper. Um, and then let's see can do there are quite a few and it does take a while so be patient some of his files I think they're like close to 20 different ones I don't know why they do that and I wish there was an easier way to to upload all of these but right now no there isn't so we just work with what we got so we do each one of those and bear with me as I do that um, and it's like, this is a layered card. I'm going to show you how it goes together. Latte, truffle, ladybug, <laughs> and so that's the red. And then here is the white. Okay. So once we have all of those images, downloaded into our little holding, our little library, we're gonna click on each one of them, all right? Because we're gonna bring it all into our canvas. So there's six, seven, eight, nine pieces. We choose them and you see at the bottom that those are chosen and then insert images. And it takes a while, you know, I have a very slow laptop. Um, but we bring them all in, and before we cut them, uh, we, we need to do one thing, and that is attach those dashed lines. And not all dashed lines are for scoring. This one's for scoring. But you'll notice when we're putting this together, they, he puts little, like, guides here, so you'll know where to layer them. Okay, so like for instance on here, he puts these little guides so you know where to put each of the pieces, including the happy, because those are individual letters, okay? So you definitely need to go through each of those files and make sure you hit attach down here, okay? Um, so you need to do that before you cut, because if you don't, then it will cut separately. Those dashed lines will cut separately. So you just go through and some of them, and you can tell if they need to be attached because for instance, on this white one, 
um, which we've already, the blue one we already attached, it will show, let's see if there's any more that need attaching. No, so just two pieces on this one need attaching. Um, but if it's, let's see, I'll detach it so you can see. If it's not attached, it shows up as two separate layers of cutting. We need to have it attached so that they cut together. This particular file will not cut on the joy. It's too big, although you could resize it for sure and probably take out this part um, because that's the biggest piece and that will not cut, but you could resize it to the A2 size and just make sure you group it together before you resize it. And I've shown you how to do that before, but by just making kind of like a sandwich so that all of your pieces um, are sort of lined up. This one here, it kind of juts out at the, the side that's gonna affect our sizing a little bit. So I probably would move it over and then just make sure that they're together. And then we want to group it by adding those, you know, the little lines. I group that and you choose group. And that way I can resize it and every piece sizes appropriately respectively so you're not ending up with an oversized cheeseburger on a smaller mat okay so this is how you'd resize it for the joy and remember that the um, joy requires that one of the measurements does not exceed 4.25 okay um, and the other the box cord from SVG cuts imports similarly but with less steps you still have to attach those lines i'm not going to show you that just because um it's pretty it's pretty easier fewer steps so let's get to putting these together let's do this one first so this is, as I mentioned, this is just a layered card. Um, and what's great about it is that they've put in, let's make sure that I get all my little pieces. So this is the base and it you don't do anything with it except fold it like this. Let me see if I'm gonna move you a little bit. Okay, so you fold like this. And then we have these two pieces. The yellow goes behind, and then there's the blue. Now you notice on the blue, I hope you can see, but there are all these little cuts here, and that's just to indicate where the pieces go, where the extra pieces go. So let's put this, um, you can work on the base if you want, it's up to you, if it makes you feel better, but um, you can you know, connect this to the base or do it at the end. Let's wait till the end for this one. And see what I'm doing here? I'm putting glue on the pieces, especially this A, because it's kind of on a little tiny cut and you wanna make sure that it stays on there or you won't see the A. Okay, so next up, is we have to make the layer for the cheeseburger. So let's have a look. We So we have a green, it is a green. We have the hamburger, we have the, the bun, and we have the red for the day, and then the, the tomato, and then also the lettuce and cheese. So let's start with, this is our, um, let's see if I have a better one. I cut out a few. So we'll start with this. I thought this looked more like a bun. Now he does do something called embossing. If you guys, I have done embossing. I don't, I just don't do it all that much. So um, if you're interested in seeing how embossing works, let me know. We'll add it to the list of things that we uh, show you on Cricut Chat. So here's the, the cheese, I'm sorry, the actual burger part. Here's our for day and also the tomato. Um, and then we need to put our green, I think the green goes, 
Yep, the green goes next. And then we need our, where's our bun top? Don't tell me I don't have it. Okay, here's the bun top, wrong way. Is this right? So I think maybe I need to put the, the green below. No, no. <laughs> so don't have your glue bottle up yet. I hope that I have. Oh, here, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. So there is the, the first part of the layering. Um, I hope you can see that, you know, the great thing about it is when you match it up, you're not gonna see those colors behind there. Um, and then the other pieces are going to be uh, put on afterwards. That's our cheese. Um, although, yeah, we're gonna put on our cheese and the, the middle part and then the French fry. So let's go ahead and put this part together. Now, glue, we always talk about glue. I use this glue, you don't have to use it, but it is really good glue for paper crafts. And it is called, let me show you the bottle. It's called Art Glitter Glue, and you can buy it on Etsy, you can buy it on Amazon. I think Etsy has a good price on it. Amazon's a little bit pricey. It comes in a refill, which so you can buy it in the this piece and also refill and in different sizes like two four and uh, eight ounce I think or maybe even sixteen ounce. Um, I but the last time I bought this I bought it on Etsy from a vendor called Britches and Bows, um, and they were very prompt. I have also in the past purchased it from Create for Less. They um, they hadn't had it in stock for a while, but I haven't gone back to check to see if they maybe have it back in stock. And someone told me that the reason why was it was close to winter and that they the manufacturer doesn't ship in the winter because it causes problems. I don't know if that's true, but it sounded like a probable explanation. So I'm going to repeat it. Okay, so let's see. Happy Father's Day. This is going to go here, I believe. Over here a little. That seems odd. Is that right? Oh, no. I got it backwards. Okay, here we go. So we're lining up here. Is that right? Why do I think? Oh, okay. Here it is. Okay. Layered cards can be a little tiny tricky. They, they seem like they're gonna be a lot of fun, easy. Um, but sometimes you gotta really pay attention. Okay, so there's that. And then the last piece for this part, which I keep turning upside down, is this. See how it covers? Let's put the glue on there. And again, I'm putting the glue on these little pieces because we don't want them to lift and see that the other layers come up and definitely make sure you get it on there good so you're not seeing that green. And you'll do a better job than I, of course. You guys are better than me. So um, you'll do a better job than that. So now next we've got, and I'm using this as my guide. Um, so next we gotta do the cheese um, and then the french fries. So the cheese is here. I cut it out in two different colors because I kinda like this orangey look, but I also did it in a yellow color in case you're you know, you can just kind of see that there are um, different ways. And this goes on like this. It sits below here. Again, you've got to follow what the, um, where it's supposed to go. You don't have to eyeball it a little bit. Whoops. And look what I did. I got glue all over it. That's okay. That's the other great thing about this glue is that um, it gen generally dries clear but I'm also messy, so whoever gets this, my dad's gone now, but whoever gets this 
will, I'm sure they will still be happy with it. Okay, so then we've we got the second layer of cheese and that goes on this way. It's cheese and lettuce. Okay, so here's the cheese, here's the lettuce. So let's put the lettuce on top of the cheese. Here we go. And I don't know, my dogs are chewing on something. Ugh, they love to get into my craft supplies, man. You can't keep anything low with these dogs. They are chompers. So here we go. Teddy bear, what are you eating? Okay, so here's my uh, cheese and the lettuce lined up. And now we have to do the uh, french fries. The french fries are two layers. So we've got like kind of a contrast layer and it goes this way for this piece that we're in, are we in the frame? Yeah. No. <laughs> the, the pickle goes, okay, here we go. So the pickle goes there and then we have to put this part on there. The pickle is two layers. So let's just get all our pieces together before we start gluing. And then there are these contrast pieces. There's three of them. They're kind of small. So we, this one goes, why am I, I thought there was a, oh, here it is. Okay. Dora Rita. Okay, here we go. So this piece goes there and this piece goes somewhere here here like this I cut these out a couple of days ago and my short-term memory is not kicking in here we go like this okay and then these two pieces go on top of that so let's not turn them over and start gluing I hope we have time for the other one it's Friday. We'll take a little extra time. Um, you know what I'll do is if you watch to the end, I'll take one of the five prizes that we're giving away tomorrow and I will give one away in a few minutes as an incentive to keep you on. <laughs> That's a good idea. Marketing genius. Okay. All right. So this goes on here. A little tricky. Then our, we got our um, pickle, two layer pickle. goes right here yeah and then we've got just our little accent pieces so this one goes here this right yeah there and this one what do I think I'm missing one? But this one goes eh, to a tiny piece. Okay, this one goes here. Yeah. Okay, we're not quite done, but we're getting there. But there's our hamburger. Um, and clearly, you could emboss this to kind of give it a, a more textured look if you wanted to, or maybe the lettuce or something, but um, that's just extra, and anything is looks good. So here we are. Here's our little cuts in there, and that's our guide on where to put it. So we line up that D and the exclamation point, and then we line up down here where the... Um, french fries are 
and that way we know exactly where to put it. I love that. That's a great little technique um, that that they do over at Dreaming Tree. Um, it's a great technique. They're very good with instructions there too. So um, here we go. Line it up a little bit. And there we have to just put the happy and also their happy is cut out so we know. Um, and let me make sure I have all my little letters. Again, because I cut these out earlier in the week. H-A-P-P. -P. Where's my Y? I know it was here. I checked it this way. Is that it? No. Oh, good gravy. Where's my Y? Oh boy, you guys are gonna have to use your imagination on the why, okay? Because I can't seem to find it. And if memory serves me, I cut out the letters twice. So um, that's what you get for cutting them out ahead of time, trying to save some time. So we can also just put this on to the base if you didn't do that already. a little edge around it which gives it a nice thickness to it and let's do our HAPP um, and these are really tiny so I probably could use my precision thing there which I have to I'd have to find oh, my we're doing so much work at the house getting my bathtub replaced and uh, it's turned into a bigger job of course and it's just kind of a little chaotic here. No shower on this floor, which is where my bedroom is. So H-A, so you have to go downstairs. And so everything's kind of a mess. And then the dogs are blowing their coat because it's that time of year, so there's hair everywhere. And I've yet to find a really good vacuum cleaner um, although I just got a brand new one, a Hoover. Everybody says good things about that, um, about those Dyson, but boy, they're so expensive. Um, so I keep buying, I think in the long run, I'm probably better off just buying those, that Dyson because, um, because I keep buying <laughs> new, new vacuum cleaners. Crazy, right? If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, let me know. But I just got this Hoover extra capacity or something. They shed a lot. Corgis are great, but their only drawback is that they shed a lot. So here is our thing. And of course, you're going to do a better job of lining it up with those cut spaces. And you'll have a Y. But that is the Happy Father's Day cheeseburger card. You could also remember, you could write a sentiment in here using your pen. So that would work good. Um... They have one for pets. Do you, uh, do they have, it's a Dyson? Yeah, I guess I might have to bite the bullet and just buy a Dyson. Um, the next time, the next time. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we still have time uh, to do, and I wanna show you how this gets folded, especially. We don't maybe don't have time for doing the insert, which is fine because Frankly, I kind of like it without the inserts, but anyway, um, and as I mentioned, I used a, a sort of a lighter cardstock. This is probably 80 pound. So when I went back to recut it, I cut it with um, a basil. It has like a textured canvas, okay? So it's a little bit thicker, okay? Um, and the way this gets folded, it's a box card. So obviously we have this part here, this is what's going to create our box. So we fold in those tabs and fold it at the half line. But what's really unique about this is that it she's created some like a little space for to make it look like a bun. So cute, right? So you have to fold it in the way that the bun is over the edge here. So you fold it, this would be a valley fold and this would be a mountain fold. Valley just is this way, a mountain is going up like a mountain. Same with the bottom, valley. 
and mountain. You do that for both sides. Valley, mountain. And what's great about this design is that it um, leaves room for our cheeseburger. And this is so clever. So basically there's this tomato piece and on top of it rests the lettuce with the onion ring. And then there's the cheeseburger, the burger, and then the cheese goes all over the top. So here's our burger pieces and you'll notice that there's only three and that's because it's a card and she makes room for, um, for the back where you can put a little sentiment or as I've suggested to you before, um, if you're not using, if you're not giving this away and you're using it as more of a decoration, then um, make sure you put down, you know, when you made it because you'll be bringing it out every year and so you'll want, um, you'll want to remember when you made it. So here's what I'm doing. I'm folding along the cut lines for my, the burger part. And I've got my cheese here. And then while I'm at it, I'm folding along the lines for my, this actually goes up. This one goes up, it's a valley. And the other one is a mountain fold, okay? Valley, 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 and there's mountain, mountain, mountain. And then take your cheese slices. And, oh, too much glue, Rita. Oh, what I always caution you about. So sorry. I definitely need to put my precision tip on there. I have to remember. Okay, so, I'm probably not in view either. Nope, not in view. Okay, so here we go. We put our cheese on there, get it all ready. And too much glue. Um, I always end up with it on my fingers. Okay, so while I'm doing this part, I want you, whoever stayed to this, to this um, time, Identify yourself and where you're from because I'm going to pick from the people that have identified themselves that they've stayed to this point in the video. I'm going to pick, oh, let's do maybe one, maybe two winners. So identify that you're here and you stayed to the end. Um, and I will pick the winners for, whoops, I dropped my one of my lettuce pieces. So what I'm doing is I am now taking and putting the lettuce at the top. This is, remember, a valley fold. So we're gonna put the lettuce, right? Is that right? Nope. Turn it around, Rita. Um, so here we're gonna put the lettuce. Right. Lettuce, so make sure you're um, typing in that you're here, that you stayed, and where you're from, and I will pick winners or winner from those comments. I'm not looking at the screen, but I'm assuming you can hear my voice and directions, so you will know that's what you need to do if you want to be a winner. And just a word about the winners, um, about the the giveaways because um, we do them every month. People often ask me how we do them. I kind of switch it up because I like to give people different opportunities. Um, and since we just started this Cricut Chat uh, just two months ago, I've been doing, reserving them for the chat, but I've been known to do them in the groups. And we do have groups, you know, and, oops, I dropped that last piece. Okay, so we do have groups, you know, and uh, if you're not part of the groups, we have a group for everyone. We have a joy, just joy group. We have a community group for the Miss Rita to the Rescue page. We have um, our Cricut Newbies and Pros groups for Explore and Maker and uh, Business. They have a kitchen one. And then we also have, if you have an older machine, 
Um, we also have an older machine called Cricut for Expressions Maker and Person, no, Cricut for Expression, Create, and what's the other one? Personal, Personal. Okay, so here is uh, what we've done. So here's the the tomato that's gonna show underneath and on the top is where our lettuce and the onion is. I see you are following directions. Thank you for doing that. So then we take that tomato piece and put it up there, up to the top of where that burger is. And then we take and put glue here onto the burger patty back and sort of nestle it in, which this is what I was saying that I love. It's a perfect space so you don't mess up where these things go, right? And we're gonna do it just for three sides. I suppose if you didn't want to, you could cut out an extra one if you wanted to, if you wanted it to be all around. And also remember there are inserts for this box card. I'm not gonna show you how they go together because to be honest, um, I kind of like it alone. There, there are inserts that have like these, they're just for the burger, I might use that, but they also have like, you know, it showed um, that they have it so you can have like these stars coming out of the top. I don't know. I think it looks good that way too. But that's the great thing about Cricut is that you can, you know, make it the way you want it for what you want it. You don't have to go just by what the designer um, has laid out for you. You can always make changes and personalize it to your own particular needs. That's what I love about Cricut. Okay. And this one. And when I put these on, I made sure that it's going to be this, these are just gonna be the sides, this is gonna be the front, and this is how I'm going to attach it. And this part here, be careful on, that's why I used a, a thicker paper, because it's just hanging by this tab. So I'm putting this together. Okay, and then I close it up by putting the glue on the tabs. And you can put the inserts again, you can put the inserts in. I usually put them in before, but in this case, we're just not doing the inserts. So, just give it a second while I'm doing that. Just show you, she does give you this little piece that you can stamp on or, or write on. That's for the back. She also shows that she took like a white gel pen and put little sesame seeds on it. That was so clever. Um, and again, we have these pieces that are labeled one, two, and three. And these would go in here. You could do that. Um, and then in addition to that, they, they're also these little star pieces that you can decorate with stars. This one I did in 4th of July, um, but you could do it in something else if dad's favorite colors or something, I don't know. Um, or you have a stamp that says happy day dad or something, but that's where your particular, um, your particular preference comes in play. So that is the box card. And remember, box cards fold flat so you can mail them. So if you're not with dad and you wanna send this to him, or if you just wanna use this for decoration, put it away for next year, you can do that too. So that is the second of the two cards we made today. This is the layered Happy Father's Day cheeseburger card. And this is the box card. This one's from SVG Cuts, and the layered one is from uh, from uh, Dreaming Tree, 3dsvg.com. And I will put the links, okay? And if you like them, let me know. Um, and make sure you comment. So now I'm going back to look at the comments so I can pick a couple of winners. 
I'm gonna try to pick people I haven't um, I haven't gotten before. So let's see. Let's choose. Uh, uh, Louisiana. Aledra McLean from Louisiana. You're the winner of uh, a June prize pack, the three rolls of Iron On a Sampler. Um, and let's see what else we've got. Silva. Okay. Let's see. Let's pick a second one. Florida. I don't think we have a Florida. Cheryl Parrish Worth from Eagle Lake, Florida. So we'll choose those two. Cheryl from Eagle Lake, Florida. And um, then my friend here, I'm trying to remember the name from, oh, where are you? Where are you? Um, you know your name. If I called your name, Aledra from Louisiana. Here's what you have to do, okay, ladies? You have to send me an email. Don't send me a PM because I lose them. Um, email is best for me. I'm old school. My email address is Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. And I need to get your full name and your address. And then what I'll do is I put in the order, you'll receive the order directly from the Cricut Fulfillment Center. And thank you Cricut for providing me with these monthly giveaways. I do so appreciate them. And um, so you'll get those from uh, from Cricut. They will take a while to receive, so be patient. I know you're anxious, but um, they will take a while to receive because I usually only put them in once a month and then they have some shipping delays. So, um, so they will take a little while to receive, but you will get them. And if you don't get them by, I'd say, the first or second week of July, then contact me okay and um i'll see if it was shipped she usually sends me a shipping um notification but i don't know if it has tracking on it so um okay so that's it for today's um today's cheeseburger day makes me want to go out and eat cheeseburgers how about you and i will again put the links for these and tomorrow again make sure you join me i'm going to show you those pie boxes as well as the gazebo um two different ways for the gazebo that's at seven o'clock only here on facebook live um and that is called cricket date night seven o'clock eastern time at the Miss Rita to the Rescue page. If you are following that page, you will get notified, and you're on Facebook, obviously, uh, at the time, you will get notification that I am going live. And if you can't see me live, or you're going on your own date night or something, then you can always catch the replay. But tomorrow night, we will be doing the rest of the giveaways. So you might want to tune in for that. Um, and let's see, if you're watching me on the replay, thank you. Um, if you can ever catch me live, I am Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. It's called Cricket Chat. It's the only daily live cricket show. You don't have to come every day, obviously, but we try to do all kinds of different things. Things with the maker, things with the joy, um, things with the easy press and infusible ink and all those wonderful products that we love from Cricut. So thank you so much for joining me, whether it's on the replay or live, and we'll see you all again tomorrow night at Cricut Date Night at seven o'clock Eastern time, 7 p.m. Eastern time here on Facebook. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you have a lovely day um, and I so appreciate you. So thank you so much. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye everyone.